uh, found it through the internet or reference books. Uh, okay, and then you can write down how the this uh, working principle they work. So actually, I do give you a very laugh that, that I did mention that this one actually is a diode. Okay, they will emit the light, and then this resistance will become low, and then the power can pass by. So I want you guys to find the box, okay, and then you do it by yourself to write a complete discussions about the working principle. Uh, your cassette in, huh? that means all in already. Huh? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Yes, sir. Can hear you. Yes, where are you guys? Why so quiet one? I just, just look like I'm talking with the MA only. Okay, now we go for the review questions. So uh, for your report, you need to submit, okay, and then you need to include your discussions. So for this review question, this will come after your conclusions, okay, as per arrangement here. So the next thing I want you guys to discuss is the first one. Explain with the help of a suitable diagram how timer can be used to ensure correct volume of milk in, is filled in a filling machines. That means uh, we will you just uh, thinking about we are doing the packaging just like a good day okay we are filling the milk so if I using the timer okay how are you going to use the timer okay and then you roughly explain to me how you're going to work okay uh, students any ideas. Hello? I will discuss with you the answer, don't worry. But I need you guys, I want to test your understanding first, okay? How we how we can use the timer, okay? To fill the to fill the milk, okay, inside a box or whatever with the correct volume. How you do that? Any idea? Guys? Come on, this one is a uh, this one is given mark question one. I discuss with you. How? Okay, how? Any any answer? How you do that using the timer? And then you can make sure there is a correct volume of milk. Guys, you want me to call the name one by one? Uh, need sir, is it sir? No, you answer the first question first. My first question is, if I want to fill, fill the milk, right? You see the first question here, okay? The first question here. If I want to using the timer to fill the milk, uh, I mean to fill fill the milk inside the box, okay, by the filling machines, okay. So how can I ensure that the volume will be correct? For example, like I want to pack a milk box like fifty uh, five hundred ml, okay. How you can ensure the Milk, milk inside the box is 500 ml. How you can ensure that? Okay, if I want to only use the timer only. Okay, so you need to come up ideas. You need to solve this first question that I asked. Then the second question, you need to come up with what are the limitations and what will be the alternative, better suggestion, alternative way, okay, of doing it. So we are doing the first question. So how you can do that? What are the things you are looking for? Any questions, guys? I'm sorry. Any answer?
Okay, first of all, you need to check what? The rate of filling the machine. Yes, flow rate. Okay, good. You need to know the flow rate. That's the second thing what you need to know. Timer. What is the purpose of the timer? Why you want to know the flow rate? Then what is the purpose of the timer? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, correct. Okay. And this is categorized as what system? No, not analog. It's analog system, but I don't, huh? I don't want the analog system. I want the all the while I always keep on emphasis on the lecture notes one. What what system? Open or close? Open. This one is open system. Yes, correct. Okay, that means ah. Uh, I would like you in your discussion, I would like to see this type of keyword. Okay. First, I mean you of, of course you need to draw, draw your diagram. Okay. Of course, I want to see what the first thing I want to see you must know the full rate. I mean the filling rate of the of the meal. Okay. And then with this one, then we can calculate to fill 500 ml you need to delay how long you understand or not for example like if my flow rate is 250 ml per second okay so how long you need to delay your timer in order to fill 500 ml uh, milk how long guys any idea huh yes correct two seconds that's simple okay because we know that uh, your flow rate is 250, then we just delay two seconds, or maybe it cannot to be too fast, uh, maybe uh, 100 or whatever, doesn't matter. As long as you can calculate, then you can get your timer. But this is a closed loop system or open loop system. This is an open loop system because they don't have control over it. You, you get what I mean? They don't have the control over it. That's mean they don't care whether your meal is uh, with meal or without meal. If you use the timer, what's the timer of the function is? After two seconds, I've, my meal drop into the box or not drop into the box, I don't care. I just delay two seconds. After two seconds, go. I will uh, stop the waft, okay, from from the uh, to prevent the milk from flowing okay two seconds i will open after that i open for two seconds then i will stop i open for two seconds then i will stop this is what the timer do okay i don't care whether inside the box is there or not or e even though the the rate is it uh num num 500 or plus or minus overflow or or not enough i don't care this is the open loop okay so this is what i want you guys to do in the discussion what are the possible limitations just now what i mentioned here actually is a a little bit of limitation this is some of the key point that you should include in these uh questions okay so i would like to i just give you some keywords only you need to reorganize your work based on your understanding and then i will Read through from there, I will know that whether you understand what I'm trying to say or you just copy and paste. Okay. So this is the uh, possible limitation. So beside this, what are the possible limitations that will may occur? Okay. You should come up with your 
word, okay? And then, now, another question is, how you, how can you uh, suggest a better alternative? That means another way of doing this, okay? Instead of we having using the timer, now maybe we use what to make the system even more perfect, okay? Any ideas, guys? So, if you want to make the system more perfect, it should be open loop system or closed loop system. What is the characteristic of the closed loop system? Closed Guys? system. Yes. Uh, then if, if this one is... Yes? Yep. So, what, what type of thing you... What, what type of uh, feedback you can do inside? I mean, so that you can make this system even more... Uh, overflow, because milk can be overflow. You, okay. How, how, how you detect overflow? Uh, sensor. Yes. A lot of sensor. I, I'm sorry, uh, we cannot finish the sensor chapter. There are a lot of sensor. What type of sensor you, you, you use? IR, IR sensor. IR sensor, infrared. Infrared can pass through the water, le, the milk, le. it's not suitable. Le. Huh? Quick uh, sensor. Uh, um. uh, button? No, no, who is talking, uh, who is uh, mentioned with sensor? Yeah, yeah, it might be correct because you know that uh the weight of the meal contains 500 maybe 500 ml maybe equal equivalent to 500 gram maybe uh then you need to measure if 500 gram then you stop it could be possible because then you use a weight sensor to measure the weight of the root i mean of the meal is possible okay what other things and then if you're using the weight sensor then are you going to use the timer or what? How are you going to modify the system? This is what I want to see, okay? I want to see some keyword, open loop, closed loop, okay? Then how you how you uh, determine the, the, the content of the meal? If you use open loop, then you must know your full rate, okay? From the full rate, then you can uh, calculate the time that required for the flow to flow into the milk box, okay? After that, from there, then what you can know that you, we just delay maybe two seconds or three seconds, we do, okay? This is the first question, answer first question. Second question, you need to say, what are the limitations? Maybe this is open loop system that don't have the control over it, okay? So you how you want to do? You need to make it as a closed loop system. So if you want to make it as a crucial system, what are the sensors that you want to add it on? Okay, you, you need to do a little bit of research by yourself. Okay, maybe your friend just now mentioned a uh, weak sensor, maybe it's one of it, it's possible to use. There are also many other solutions can be applied. Okay, so you can do it by yourself about what I want to see in the question one. So any questions, guys? Hello, hello, hello. Ayo, I'm I'm th I'm talking with the a, with the A only, ne? <laughs> Can you guys do or not? Wait, this one give mark one, ne? Okay, you under you roughly understand what I'm trying to convey the message, right? Okay. Oh, so I hope everyone of you can do the first question. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to discuss the second question. Okay, the second question, I'm not going to give you the answer. I give only to give you very surface, uh, in, uh, surface uh, guideline only, okay? So what is the question number two need, okay? You need to design a circuit diagram. What is circuit diagram? Some sort like this. You need to, you need to design this one, okay? Some sort like this. This is circuit diagram. Okay. That means you need to use the component. What you learn 
Then now you need to draw a diagram by yourself, okay? So you need to draw a circuit diagram here and then with the basic I.O. relay timer to control a industry fan, okay? This industry fan, they need a one start push button to run the fan. That means, okay, guys, what you mean by PP, push button? I keep on uh, mention, explain what is, what is the meaning behind push button about the signal. When I push it, they will turn on the signal. Yes, very good. That means this signal you totally depend on your uh, your action. That means you push one time, they will give you one signal. You keep on pushing, they will stay on. Okay, good. So at least you got some clue here. The second clue I want to give you, you know is how we going to stop the phone, uh, sorry, stop the fan automatically by three seconds. How you do that? Yes, you need a timer, correct? So as I say, this push button, they will give you one signal. You cannot ask a user to keep on pushing the button for three seconds after that you release by yourself. And if you do it, you need this consider as a automatic, automatic, automatically, I mean automatic system, automated system. Yes or no? No. Okay. So, how you going to keep the sig uh, signal last for three seconds? How? You need to use what? You need to use what? How you? Because this one is push button, right? I keep I push one time, then they will turn on the fan. But when my hand my hand release, the fan will turn off by itself. You will not wait until three seconds. How you can do that inside your circuit? So what are the components you need to add it on? Guys, come, come, come. You you guys mechatonic then. Mechanical student can answer this question very well then. Really? Yes. No joking. Yeah. Come, come. What, what, what will be your answer? <laughs> Guys, what you need to... Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. How you? Yeah. How how you can? As I mentioned here, just now I did mention to you, right? I when I press the uh, uh, push button, I press one time, they will give you one signal. Okay. After that, your signal will gone. It cannot last for three seconds. You understand? Unless you keep on pushing. You understand what I try to say? Like, if you I press the A button, I press one, they will only give you one A. But I want to make uh, the A last for three seconds. How can I do that? I cannot do I cannot do by pressing one. If I'm doing this, ask the user to press three buttons, then your whole system is not automated. Your whole system is a manual system. So they will feel. So what I need to add inside the system? This word. What you learn? You quickly refer back to the practical. What you have learned from Relay. Go, go, go. Relay will automatically turn on, right? So. Relay, when you give the signal, relay will turn on. 
but I can do something yeah. with the relay. What are the things that I need to do with the relay? Program it to turn on every three seconds. Uh? No, not program it to turn on three seconds. Program it to last for three seconds. Uh, how you, okay. uh, how you can, how you can do that? First, I press the button, then my my signal will last for three seconds. What is the word you need to have? Last. Not last. Oh, yo, hello, you guys are. Uh, have you really studied my class or not? Oh, yo, I worry about you guys uh. If I if I don't discuss here, you cannot do this question at all. Relay, you go to the relay. Uh, the system to get another input from the user no you don't want because you are using the timer to do the automatic control so the timer will delay how long guys timer delay how long a second three second yes that means from here you need to draw your circuit okay yeah. You need to draw your circuit and how to make the task and very fundamental automated system. Do you understand? Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Guys, are you still there or not? How many of you leaving for lunch? Huh? Just turn on and then go out. I pick uh, I pick person. Ferris, are you there? Yes, sir. You understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, not really. Not really. Then why you do? I question me. Question me until you understand, ma. Okay, which part you don't understand? Paris, which the, one you don't understand? The green huh? pilot lamp turn on, that one. Pilot lamp turn on? Uh, for for the question or for what? From the question on. From here? Question number two? Yes, yes. So, can you uh, you understand what the purpose of this one, right? The first, first row? Yes, the first row, okay. Okay, then one start button to to run the fan. This one you understand or not? Yes. Okay, then the fan will stop automatically after three seconds. English okay lah, but the the meaning behind, you have the idea of how this one will look like, not? Yeah. Okay, then inside here you need to add the emergency stop button. What is the emer e, e stop? E stop is an emergency stop button. What is the function of the emergency stop button? 
to stop it. Stop if you have a uh, accident or whatever, any emergency case, then you just press the button, then we will break the power. Okay. So how to do the wire connection for this e-stop? You can actually you can refer back to the practical here. Now, okay, the E stop. Okay, this is the emergency stop. E stop button normally close and normally open. Okay, then you can refer back to here. If I turn on this one. If I turn on the uh, the switch one, the green light will turn on. Okay. If I break the circuit, the uh, BL2 will turn on. Okay. So this is the one. I want you to I want you to incorporate all the components here, and as I say, the latching circuit relay, uh, relay latching. This is the one. Okay, you incorporate uh, all this one into one comp, uh, into one diagram timer is this one. How the timer can, can work is work is this one. Then to do this question, okay, and then you need to use a green lamp, green pilot lamp to indicate when when the fan is running, and red pilot lamp to indicate when the fan is stopped, okay. Can you follow? Paris? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. Who else? Can you understand or not? Who else? If you okay, if you okay, then I assume okay. Then next week you need to submit your report. Okay. The due time will be the one o'clock. I mean the last session of the lab for your i will correct the uh, assignment folder next week okay any more question guys mm. yes i will i will expect you guys to draw some sort like this thing something like this okay you need to think about yourself and then you need to uh, do all the labeling from here you modify or you generate your I won't give you the answer because this one will distinguish the A star student with the normal student okay this one, I, more or less, I'm already giving you guys answer. If you really follow my class, you should be able to do this question. Okay. This one, you need to a little bit do it by yourself. But anyhow, I will try to explain to you guys how to do this question. Okay. You just go back and figure out how. Okay. Any more question? If no question, then we move to the tutorial one. Okay. Yes. Uh, Yik, how us uh, the report got any format? Uh? Uh, you can follow the report that I given to you. The report given? Yes. You can uh, to go for the report that I given to you. Okay, you can copy and paste, but you, you need to do all the table. Everything is there already. 
Okay, for example, like this one, your 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 procedure, whatever. So, but like, got, got the font format or anything? Like, uh, format for me is free. Okay. Okay. But then, for reference, do we need to find like a lot of reference or uh, a few only? Because uh, for your discussion, you need to put some reference. Uh. Okay. If you can do that. I mean, with all side with the citation, then you. Re I mean, your report will be more perfect, lah, more mark even. Lah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Any more question? Yes. Hello. Question. No question. Uh, no, no question. Ah. Uh. Okay. Ah. Uh, sorry for those ah uh, who uh, who don't have the mic one. Maybe you can ask your friend to speak up for you because I. Uh, uh, Justin, Justin, in the chat he say he's not feeling well. He leaving. Oh. Okay. So next we will go for the tutorial. Oh. So uh, we will do the question tutorial one. Uh, wow, why so a lot? <coughs> the lab need theory, yes, sir. Huh? Theory. No need theory, right, sir. Uh not necessary if you want you can put in oh so if i don't put also in the mind because it's not included in the marks right yeah okay okay uh questions uh now we want to discuss with uh, this uh or actually you can refer back to the uh lecture notes uh, for example like define mechatronics you can refer back uh, explain the difference between the open loop and the closed loop okay i hope you guys can explain it very well if you can't then you can refer back to the lecture notes so i won't discuss here this one is a very fundamental things you need to study okay so the next one is uh, identify the various elements that might be present in a control system involving a thermostatically controlled electric heater okay if the question like this one, okay, there could be a either open loop system or closed loop system, okay. So open loop system is a very uh, straightforward. I I don't discuss with you. Then if I I want to discuss with you, actually is the closed loop, okay. So you still remember what are the important element for the closed loop, guys? What are the elements you remember or not for your closed loop system? Okay, you still you still remember the how's the block diagram look like? Come on, cast wrap. Hmm? You forget. So you read you you can refer back to your lecture notes uh, quickly. Okay. So inside the closure system, 
actually there are a few elements is quite important i think this is the core of your pro i mean the the core of this chapter so in this chapter you really need to know identify different shade and then the each element and then how you're going to apply this each element for example like if this one if i consider this is a closed closed roof system okay so what will be my control variable you for for this one for number three electric heater what will be your control variable are you the knob to adjust one no cannot be the thermometer i think i better take i i think i better take out my lectures first wait ah uh. are you i think you guys not following my lecture closely la. Hmm? too much thing to study uh. or still under mco mode uh. too much thing to study yes la. <laughs> okay can you see my screen that have a uh, two thing ah this is the one okay actually what i want from this question three is all here okay so I want to do number three. Okay. Uh, thermostatic control electric heater. I consider this is a closed roof system. Okay. So, what is the control variable for this one? Control variable will be the thing that you try to control. For example, like I, in if you stay in the Western country, okay. You need to have a heater during the winter, okay, to make your, your room warm. So, what are you going to control? The room temperature. Yes, very good. The room temperature is my control variable, okay? I try to control my room temperature, okay? You can answer it, okay, very good. So, you need to keep on. Then, what will be your reference value if this one? Reference value, what will be your reference value? I mean, the, the picture that you want, that you set. Yes, who? Who, who set the picture? Yeah. Who? Who? The, who are the one? The user. The user. Yes. The required user temperature or the setting of the user temperature. Correct or not? That means if I, if I go inside the, uh, during the winter, I want to make me fall uh, sleep comfortably. Maybe I will want to keep my room temperature at 24 or 25 degree. Okay, that is just comfortable. Okay, then this is my target 24 degree. But outside temperature now is zero degree. It's very cold. Then my room will affected maybe less than 10 degree. So what I need to do is, I hope I can get 24 degree. So I need to turn on the heater. Okay. So you you can find your uh, room temperature, uh, your setting temperature. Then what will be the comparison element? Okay. The comparison element from the definition is the comparison element. The com this compare the reference values of the uh, variable condition being controlled with the measured value of what is being achieved and produce an error signal that means this is a device and this device will use the user setting value and the measured value okay to generate a error signal and this error signal will give you the idea for example just now i mentioned i want 24 degree okay but right now what i measure my room temperature actually is 10 degree so 
measure is 10. Your reference value is 24. 24 minus 10, what you get? Guys? 14. 14. Okay? 14, that means that is positive gain. Do you need to turn on the heater or you need to shut down the heater in order to achieve 14? That means you still have a 40 degree gap. Okay? So you must turn on the heater. If possible, you want to turn on and heat it as fast as possible. This is how they do the cool strip control. That means I always to get a reference value from the user and then I measure what is actually, actually achieved, okay? To generate a error signal. And this error signal will bring into the, into what? Control unit. And the control unit will know what they need to do. Can you guys follow? Okay. Yeah. And this is the control unit. So this, uh, this decide what action to be take when you receive an error signal. And it usually is a programmable system. Okay, programmable. What it hints to you, programmable and control plan of logic is stored. What they hints to you? Programmable and the logic can be stored. What they hints to you? This one will refer to a what? What system? I give you the video uh, yesterday. What are the what are these? Uh -huh. How many actually attend the, the lecture? Or, or after you sign in, after you log in, you just go somewhere else? PLC. Yes, PLC. PLC is one shot of what? PLC is one shot of microprocessor. That means normally for the automation, they need a hard. The code is the PLC, where you where this is the not the PLC only uh, processor where all your program you will store inside here. So normally, okay, your p processor will be your control unit in general term. Can you guys follow? Uh, okay. So, in this case, what will be your, uh, sorry, a comparison element, I, I, I jam already. What will be your control unit for the system? The user. Uh, the user. The person. Y yes, it could be the person. If, your, if you just uh, use the, uh, 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 what, how I say, use a very old fashioned uh, system. They, uh, they're not like our aircon, there is open loop, then your, the user will definitely will be the control unit. But normally, for example, like our aircon, okay, who will be the, what, what will be the control unit for aircon? What will be the control unit for aircon in this case? The remote. Remove? Do you think that the remote have all the program? The uh, microprocessor. Yes. Not sure, sir. Okay. Yeah, I understand you. You because for us, we cannot know actually what the system is inside, but in general, we roughly know that. In order for the aircon to be automatic, there must be have some sort of like microprocessor or CPU or PLC type of controller. So you can give me a generic terms, okay? I will accept, okay? So microprocessor. So the microprocessor will be the control unit because 
all your program will be stored in the microprocessor and the microprocessor will do the action based on what you receive from information from the outside. Just like I show it to you, the washing machine. Where is the washing machine? Just I'll show it to you. This is the control unit. It's a microprocessor. They will get all the information from your sensor and then they know what they need to do with the actuator so that the to make the machine, the washing machine drum to work. So will be your uh, microprocessor here. Okay. How about the others are all sleeping? Uh? Hey okay, guys, I worry about you guys. Uh. Study properly, uh. come here to study. Uh. Okay. Then what will be the correction you need for this system? The switch. Yes, switch. What switch? For the. For the heater, is it? Yes, the switch of the heater. Very good. The switch of the heater will be the control unit. Okay. Oh, sorry, collection unit. Then what will be the process? Heating, process heating, up. heating up the thing. Okay. Yes, heating. Okay. Then what will be your measurements element or measurement device? Thermometer. Yes, thermometer. This is a very basic closed loop system. So this will apply even for aircon or for a lot of cases. Okay. Okay, now we already did question number three. Now we go for question number four. So to this two this diagram, one is the block and one is this one. So to answer it. What will be the element or the parameters? What will be the control variable for this system? You try to study, I give you uh, five minutes. After that, you need to answer this. Okay? So what's the question? Uh, I'm lagging stuff. Question number four. Now we go to the, yeah. move on to the question number four. Okay. Okay, okay the, the figure below. Based on the diagram and the block diagram here, okay? All your answer is, is is inside here. So you need to fill in the brand. Okay. So I give you five uh, minutes to do these questions. Okay. Okay, Mr. Chua Yi Heng, can you answer this? Mm. Try, you try. If you cannot do, I, can, I will do it together. We will do it together. Okay, don't worry. Okay, come. Meaning is not embarrassing. Okay, come. What will be the control variable? Uh, is it the 
Tapi Bawa konfer What What uh, I can't hear you Oh Can I you mean speak slowly Okay so uh, The control variable is Is it speed? Speed what? Speed of the car? Speed of the aeroplane? The speed of the rotating shaft. The speed of the rotating shaft. Rotating shaft. Yes, very good. Okay, then what will be the reference value? You you answered me two questions enough. I I will ask other students. Okay, what will be the reference value? Mr. Chua, what will be the reference value? I can't hear you, sorry. What will be the reference value? The required speed. The required speed. What? The answer is there already, what? The answer is there. What? what is the required speed? The potential meter. The potential meter, yes, is a potential meter. But is it? This is a where the potential meter is a device. Sometimes, uh, you guys, uh, you know, you know the answer, but you're not giving the correct answer. You know, potential meter is a device. What you want to get from the potential meter? It's the speed that we set as well. Yes. Here. Setting value. By the user. Okay. So next, uh, Ferris, you always answer my question. I want to move to the some student, which is a very quiet one. Why, why I can't see my Google Meet? Uh? Oh, here. Okay, Desmond, answer. Yes. Where are you? Yes. Oh, you are Desmond. Okay. So, answer me. What is the comparison element? Um, this one. The the measure value and the uh, required value the measure value is the comparison element is what is a device what is this device what will be the things that uh device for this uh system what will be the that device what is it um Compar the differential amplifier sir. yes differential amplifier okay what will be the error signal the error signal is between the rotating shaft not and the, the between. Not between. Um, error signal is one. The difference between the measured mm -hmm. and the the measured value and the required values. Hey, Adalo, you create your own formula, man. This is uh, the formula. Yeah, yeah. The difference between reference value and measured value. Yes, the reference value. Then in this case, what is your reference value? Reference value is from the the setting of the setting of potential meter. Setting of the potential meter minus what potential what meter. value that you get? Uh, what value that you get? The differential amplifier. No, from the rotating shaft, sir. Yes, yes, tachometer. What they try to measure? The, the rotation per minute. You need to minus the uh, setting from the potential meter minus the measured, yeah. measured value from the tachometer. Okay? Okay. Lah. So I pass next one. Next one will Freddy. Freddy. 
Cole, Cam, as a what will be the control unit and chain unit? I'm sorry. What will be the control unit and the unit answer for this one? Collection unit and the create but collection unit and control this one. The person is it the you can find person here, man. Nope. I said already told you my, all your answer could be found inside here. So from here, what will control you need? Guys? Motto. Ayo. This demonstrate you really don't understand. Just now like I already mentioned it. Control element is what? Amplifier. Yes, amplifier. Okay. Then what will be your caution you come on, quick, quick, quick. What will be your collection unit for this diagram? What? The? what? Oh. Huh? What? Faster the, the rotating huh? shaft. Rotating shaft. No. You look back to the collection unit element. What the collection element normally if for is? Heater is? If for heater is a switch for the heater. For this one? It's motor. It's, it's motor or what? Potential meter, the amplifier. No, no. The amplifier is control unit, ma. Hello. The cat techo generator, sir. No. Are you are you Ferdi? Not Ferris. Eh? I'm asking Ferdi. Eh? Is it Fer Ferdi? Is it to pronounce your name Ferdi or what? The first. When, huh? How how to pronounce your name? Ferdi or Ferdi? Ferdi. Ferdi. Okay. Ferdi. So how? What is the collection unit? Huh? Because I want to make sure element of you study la. I know uh Ferris is very hard working. Good. Give some chance to your pills. La. Okay, for those are uh, sleeping one. Ferdi, Ferdi, what is the control you need? Come, quick, answer me. Don't wasting your friend time. What is what will be that? If you cannot refer back to the natural notes, the natural notes that might be a switch to control the actuators. So, motor is your actuators. Then. What will the uh, collection unit? Come on. Hello, hello. Freddy. Freddy, uh, uh, I've always forgotten. Uh. Mr. Lim, answer, please. While waiting for Mr. Lim, maybe we go, we look for others. Question. Uh, after this, maybe we ask for Kam Si Kam How. Yes. Kam. Okay, yes. you answer the remaining two. You answer the remaining two process and device. What will be the process? Process is rotate the shaft. Mm, mm, rotating shaft. Okay. Measured what? Huh? The measured what? Uh, taco generator. 
Okay, very good. So, Fadi, what? Faris. Fadi, sorry, Fadi. What was your answer, Mr. Lim? For this one, collection unit. Anyone can help, Mr. Lim? Faris? Faris? Can you help him? Yes, what will be the answer? So, you're lagging. Can you repeat? The question. Okay, what will be the answer for the collection unit? The collection unit. Hmm. Where? Are? The thermometer is it? No. Collection unit is what? The measurement of the thermometers, deco generators. No. No. Yeah. The process rotating shaft. Speed measurement. Why this? Motor. Motor. Motor is an actuator. Then what will be the answer? The fire. The switch to control the actuator. The switch of the motor. Uh, just now you mentioned the heating. What is the correction unit? The switch of the heater. Then this one will be the switch of the motor. Okay. To correct, because the correction unit is the one that you're going to turn on and off. By right, you should use a well, uh, variable frequency drive, but you haven't go to the motor uh, chapter yet. So I will accept the switch of the motor. This is a very general term. Okay, the switch of the motor. Can you see that? I highlight to you. Can you see the highlight? Guys? Yes, can okay. see. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Okay, then we move to the next question number five. The automatic control system for the temperature of a bath of liquid consists of a different voltage fit into the differential amplifier. These are connected to a relay which then switch on or on power to to a heater in the liquid. Negative back is pro measurement system which fit voltage into the differential am am uh, amplifier so can you identify the nine elements of it and then you sketch a block diagram for this one okay and how the signal is produced so according to our this one actually you need to do this uh, Okay, and then you also need to answer. And then you also need to answer this. Uh, this some sort like all this. You need to draw draw the block diagram and answer this. Okay. So in order to answer this, so what will be the control variable for this system? Question number five. Okay. Now I will try to pick the uh Chong Chi Jen. Yes, sir. Okay, can you answer me the first three? First three is this. What is the control variable, reference value, and comparison element for this system? Question five, is it? Yes. What, what the first three answer for this? Uh, control variable. 
Pause. Hmm. Uh, the setting temperature. Ah, yo. What temperature? The setting temperature. No, that one is the reference value, that low. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Reference. Okay. <laughs> control variable. What? What you try to control, that low? You need to understand <laughs> each uh, of the it. The water temperature. Ah. Water temperature? Yeah. Uh. Long. Here, they didn't mention water. They mentioned is what? Well, liquid. Ah. Yes. That's why, uh, a lot of time, uh, you guys really need to answer based on what the question one. Do answer based on what you understand, you know. That's why a lot of time, uh, sometimes when you, you will sit for the exam, uh, you thought you are correct, actually you're not answering the question. The question is request, I want the liquid, liquid temperature. Okay? okay. Uh, this is the thing I want to highlight to you guys. If you, if you don't try, you, you never know where you, go, where you go wrong. Okay? Okay, next, what will be the reference value? Reference value, the, the, just, yeah. the setting temperature. Setting temperature, okay, could be, but by, by user, la, if, if, you put by user more complete, la, okay? Okay. Uh, the mid You're lagging very bad, can I hear you properly? My 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 is still lagging. Is it? Are you sorry? Ah, uh? because today my my house uh the network is not good. Uh. The corporation element is a measure measurement system, isn't it? No, not a measurement system. What will be the comparison? Differential. Differential. Yes, differential. Amplifier. Yes, good. Okay. Then how about the error signal? Error signal. Uh, error signal should be, I asked uh, the next one. You answer, you're supposed to answer three only. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Chong finish. Then who? Okay, Derek. Derek, Derek, are you there or not? Yes, sir, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Okay. My mic is lagging also. Yeah. Uh, okay. I uh, acceptable lah. Uh, my mic also lagging because today. Uh, error error signal. Error signal is. Error signal. Mm. Yeah, error signal is uh, reference value minus of the measure value. You, if you give me the answer like this. I also cannot give you the an correct answer. You only can get 15 marks only. This show you, you are, you are understand only the theory, not answering the question. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you I got it, sir. Ah. So answer my question. What will be the um, error signal? Uh, uh over the temperature when over what temperature? Heat. What temperature? The temperature of the bath of liquid. When it's over then you can you see this? Can you see this one? Yeah. This the uh, your measure value actually is the uh, free of a uh, wattage. 
And then into the differential amplifier, just now you said the differential amplifier will be the comparison element. That means this is the voltage that will during the compare. That means that will be your reference value is uh, the setting of the user. Okay. Then your error signal will be the setting of the of the user minus the feed rate. Feed a voltage. That means the voltage that they measure. Okay. Can you get me? Yeah. Okay. Because the measure value signal. So from the question, the me measure value signal is a voltage. That's why sometimes uh, uh, you cannot uh, see based on what you learn from the books. Okay. You also need to know to apply your understanding to the question you attempt. Okay. So uh, next one is who uh, uh, you answer correct. Uh, what is your control unit then for this for this system? What will be your control unit, guys? Garrick, what will be your control unit? Yeah. What will be your control unit? Switch. Switch of what? Switch is a control unit or collection unit. Correct answer. Hello, hello. Ginjin answer. Correct. Yes, sir. What will be the control unit for for, for, for this? Amplifier. Yes, amplifier. Yes, very good. Okay, okay. After Greg, then we move to another. Uh, okay. sing. Discussing. What will be a collection unit? Discussing. Are you there? Yep, 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 yep. What will be, be the collection unit? Discussing. Not, not try to do it. Uh, Discussing. Are you there or not? Or is it just you? Yes, it's just I'm not here. Okay, okay. Discussing. Okay, okay. discussing. What will be the collection unit? Collection. Okay, collection unit. Refer back to the directions. From from here. Peter, you got, you got the third. And then, correction unit will be? What? what? That's what I'm saying. Total control. I'm going to mute my mic back. That's a super control. Peter. 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 You just, you just mentioned the switch of the heater is enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh okay. 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 What will be the process? process? I think. Process, ah? Uh? Process? Mm hmm. Heater is doing what? Heater is warm up the liquid. Heater is warm up the liquid. Heater is warm up Okay. Okay. So the what? Heater is warm up the liquid. Okay. Then, uh, uh, uh measurement, de measurement device. Um, uh, yes, yes, could be. The monitor, because, uh, here, 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 here,
very very clearly okay okay and then at the moment there is a very general term actually this one they are giving the what fish if the what fish one maybe is a minister or whatever but you can give me check and all that now because this is a general thing so the moment you are you have a sample okay okay maybe maybe you need to give them the more precise with the minister or uh because we have an yet the sensor okay okay maybe maybe uh next week uh Okay, okay, then that number five, that last one, the good news is uh, six, seven, eight, nine, I didn't do the other group, so I, I wasn't going to do with you guys. We can just do the question about 10. After this question about 10, then I will release you. Okay, okay? What is the management system? You can find it very well with the lecture notes. Okay, okay, what I want is you give me one example of the management system, and then you can demonstrate to me. What, what is the system? The motion in me. What is the sensor? sensor Second condition and as display. You, you need to give me one example. Okay. okay. So, so let me check. Any any more in there for this question? Yeah, can you ask me how? Yeah, I ask you a question. Uh, yeah, yes, not to ask. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Then try some chai, 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 you can get the class of uh, 9 to 9 to 9 to 11, 11 you can go class. Okay, okay. Come, come, guys, you can give me one example. Okay, this one. Which question is that, sir? No, 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 no. I want to do maybe this. Sensor, sensor, conditional, history, whatever. I want to check my measurement system for my car. Then I need the center of the view. Maybe a tangle letter. Sensor, conditional, I can use a microprocessor. Then the display is a display monitor. I mean, I mean, the data we can, we can display, display on the data. So, so this is our measurement system, system on, on your car, how far past you are on. Okay, okay. So, so you need me give me one example other than this one. one. Any, any idea? Uh, let me try it out.
a correction, maybe. Okay, okay. 